Hello and welcome um, to this video where we'll be setting up the uh, Multi-Wii board, this Hobby King Multi-Wii Pro board. And the first thing you're gonna make sure is this jumper pin in here, this jumper pin right here. Um, this needs to be plugged in for it to be enabled to be programmed. And um, if you do not have this plugged in, you'll get an error when you try to flash this board. Make sure that's plugged in. And um, the next thing we're going to do is take the supplied USB cable, plug it in. Uh, kind of hard to do with one hand. So plug it in. Now we're going to uh, program the uh, tricopter or set up the multi Wii. So you should um, go to the multi Wii website, um, a link in the description. Um, and now we're going to set up the tricopter. So you've downloaded the multi Wii finder here, file here. If you open it up, there's one called multi Wii 2 1. Open that up and you'll get. Of course, make sure you have the Arduino IDE, and um, when you open that up, you see all these tabs right here. You want to go to the config.h. You don't want to, you really don't want to change anything in the other tabs here, um, which is the actual code. Um, we don't want that. This is the setting up file, and that's what we're going to change it. So firstly, we're going to define what type of multi-copter we are going to use and by doing that we simply delete the two slash forwards in, in front of the line and we're going to use a tricopter so that's what we're going to develop uh, on comment um, and since we've now uncommented that we can go down to the next one uh, motor minimum frontal and we flashed the ECs with Simon K's firmware and it says he is specially C Simon K. So that's what we're going to uncomment. Um, and motor max throttle, uh, I found 1950 was a, a good a good place. Um, so maximum throttle 1950. Minimum command 1000. Try to make that work. And um, down here we're going to change the L2C speed, which is 4,000 lines, 4,000 kilohertz. Um, it don't it works only with some clones, which is this is a clone. So that's what we're going to uncomment. And now we're going to go down here to what board we're going to use, and we're going to use the FFIMU, which this is a copy of, you could call it even though it's open source. So uncommon that and then that's what we got there and um, these we shouldn't check and we're going to move down to the try setting here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, just zoom on a little bit. Right. This is a try setting and define your direction one and check if your, your direction is the correct one. You want to move it to move um, left when you move the stick left and right when you move the stick right. And to enable the GPS, what we're going to do is to scroll down to the GPS menu here. It says GPS right there. And what we're going to uncomment is define GPS serial two because it's plugged into the serial port number two. And Define GPS port 1150. Um, so that's basically what we're going to define. Um, we can now flash this onto the tricopter. So, what you're going to do is go out to, to tools, it'll probably say, and board, and you're going to select an Arduino Mega. And serial port is going to be for my part, it's going to be on COM3. Um, Make sure you know which one it is, and then just hit upload. And it says uploading in the bottom. When that green bar is uploaded, you can also see it's flashing. Let's 
see it's working and it is now finished. Alright, so you can see the tricopter is now powered up. I got the USB cable to my computer um, so I can get some serial data. And what we need to do now is to just connect it so I can see the serial data as well. So connect. Alright, so what we want to do is hit that you go to the RC control settings in the Win GUI and um, you're going to check when this servo is at its outer points because that we can we can change that in the settings so the servo won't at last burn itself because it's stretching all the way to the, its end points. And so you're going to take your yaw not at the bottom, you're just going to arm it and you're not interested in that right now. Just put a little bit up and you're going to pivot it to the left first and when you see it can't move any longer you're just going to get one tack left so there and I see it's at 12.54 12.60 so it says in the wind here it's 12.60 so just gonna remember that 12.60 and we're gonna move it to the right find the spot here and it says 15 1596 so you're going to the Arduino code it's a digital server so it makes a lot of noise so we're going to the Arduino code oops and we say config.h we want to move a little bit up I don't know how far that was too far. We're going to move down to the try setting here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Just zoom on a little bit. Right. And define try your constraint minimum. Um, that was 1260. Whoops, 1260 and define try your constant maximum that was um, 1596 and define draw middle I'm just going to the wind GUI and then look at the far right corner so remember that is this focused right where the yaw is now and make sure that is the center position, that it is uh, completely level with the surface, not that it's, it's just tipped a little bit to the side, that is completely level. And um, go ahead and check the yaw servo here, and it says 490. So that's what I'm going to go in the Arduino code and say 14, 14, just focus it right back um, let's see where am I I'm up there yes so 14 and 14.90 that's it and we're going to upload it again oh and it says it can't be used because it's already in use and I got a, get an error message. That's because the wind GUI is connected to it. Just say disconnect and um, go into the Arduino code again and click the flash button up there. Click. It should start flashing at the bottom and it is done nearly. Right, it says upload finished so